road from in on the land Where the grabbers stink like Ali get up on The scheme hot today we are the weatherman A boy should have dropped body Hey guys, it's the Diva here. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, Duns and Divas. Hope everybody's well. I'm in the kitchen today. I'm going to be making some Mexican tacos. I think they're called Brie Brie tacos, something like that. It's the first time I'm making them. So I'm going to try and see what I can do. Okay. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video and try and make some yourself. If you like beef, you like cheese, mmm. It's the ones for you, okay? So I have some dried chili peppers and what I'm doing, I'm just taking the seeds out of them. I'm not gonna use the seeds, so just cut them open and uh, take the seeds out. Okay, so that's some dried chili peppers, yeah. There you go. Right. These are the chili peppers. I'm not sure what type of peppers they are. Just saw them like that in the shop. So those are those. Then I've got some carrots and some sweet pepper, some onion. Also here we have some seasonings that we're going to put in the pot. You'll know later each one what we are using. Here I have my beef in covered in salt and washed, covered in salt and pepper, some rosemary and thyme we're going to put in there. My chili peppers um, that I deseeded are soaking now in warm water, ready to be blended, and we're going to blend them up with the onions, the garlic, one scotch bonnies in there and the sweet peppers. So all of that will go in the blender, ready to be blended. So everything's inside. I put a bit of rosemary on the top too, to half a cup to a cup of water. Hi guys, it's Marcia. <laughs> so today I'm doing my tacos. Um, you would have seen at the beginning the ingredients and then we blend everything. So what we're going to do now is um, just um, not really brown so much, but we're going to sear the um, beef. Yeah, so I'm just warming up my oil. So we're going to sear the beef. So as you know, we have here ready our sauce. Um, these are the peppers and the garlics and the onions all blended up, okay? And then here we had all our beef. Um, I just put some salt and pepper on the beef, yeah? Also, I did add into my blend some um, rosemary. Okay, some rosemary. So sorry my head's a bit cut off. You don't need to see me. It's the cooking we're gonna do. You see me? Yeah, that's better, right? So we're gonna cut one more onion. Wash the onion. So those are ready to go. That's gonna go in after we've seared the beef. The onion can just be a chunky cut and then I have a couple bits of garlic left over here so I'll put those in as well okay and I'm also gonna uh, make some chili oil to fry the tacos in alright so the oil is still heating up and we're just going to sear off the beef. So at the beginning of the video I did show you some seasonings. So what I'm going to be putting in the pot after, I have all purpose seasoning, I have garlic powder, some bay leaves, some onion powder. 
I have some cayenne pepper. I'm not sure I'm going to use that because the sauce is quite hot. Some crushed chilies and I have some chicken stock because um, we do may have to add more water. And uh, when I cook, I don't like adding just plain water. It takes away the flavour. So good to have a little stock in there as well. Um, this recipe, I did watch some other recipes, so it has my own take on it. Because um, what I, the recipes I watched didn't have garlic inside and stuff. But you know how it got, yeah? Season up with food properly. So here is our beef, ready to go in the pot. Put the beef in. Yeah, nice. We're just gonna sear the beef. So we're just gonna sear the beef, make sure all sides of the beef are browned. Got a bit too much oil in there, but it's alright. Okay. So that shouldn't take too long. So this is the beef in the pot. Okay. All we're doing is brown. We just want to seal it. Okay. Sorry if the video is a bit, I'm here by myself, I don't have nobody to help me, nobody to help me. Okay, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to turn up the fire a little bit more, because this shouldn't be a long process. So you can see there is our beef, that's all been seared already, okay, so now I've um, still got a little bit of oil in the pan and now I'm going to, well it's not a pan, this is a Dutch pot, yeah? Now I'm going to add the onions, a few more onions, remember it doesn't matter if the onions are chunky, and I've got a bit of garlic here, so we add that in the pan. Okay, so we're just frying off these onions a little bit. That's just one extra onion in the pan. Okay, this is just all for flavour, right? Then we're going to add our beef back into the pot into the Dutch pot. Add back our beef, 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 beef. And I'm gonna tell you something, people who know me know I love to cook, I'm not afraid to cook, love to cook. But I tell you what, I don't never cook beef, you know, unless it's minced beef, maybe a bit of spaghetti bolognese or something. I don't really cook beef much, so. This is new for me with the beef, okay? Then also I have here some carrots, washed and chopped. Just pour those in the pot. Alrighty. And then here I have my blended up um, chili peppers, there's a scotch bonnet pepper, oh yeah, I dropped one scotch bonnet pepper in there as well, garlic, onion, sweet pepper, we just pour that into the pot, like so, okay. so far so good, you can turn up your fire, because you want it to boil, and then we're going to simmer, yeah? 
So that's in the pot and this is great. I don't even need to, at this precise moment, I don't need to add any more water. There's enough here. I'm gonna show you in a minute. And what I will do in, um, when the water goes down a bit, I will add stock. This is just ready-made chicken stock. Or, or, okay. All right. So we go. And that's the first part over. Over, over, over. So this is going to boil up. And then... Um, Oh, and I've got some, you know, we Jamaican descendants, because I'm born in London, Jamaican family, we love thyme, so I put a bit of thyme on the top of there, and we have uh, rosemary, I told you, in there, that rosemary, I picked it fresh out the back, yeah, a little bit of all-purpose, seasoning in the pot that's all purpose we have garlic but I'm gonna put a little garlic powder into the pot um, we have bay leaves where is the scissors found it up drop some carrot at the side of the cooker. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna just two, three or four bay leaves into the pot. That's enough. Alright, one for luck. Okay. Bay leaves. And then also I have um, onion powder. I've never used onion powder. Put a little bit of that in there, onion powder. It's alright. Yeah. Onion and garlic, do not be afraid to use onions and garlic. Don't be afraid to use it, guys. Yeah. Don't skimp on seasoning, man. I hate fresh food. Okay. Doesn't look bad. It don't look like nothing now, but it doesn't look bad. I'm following a recipe. I've added a couple things in myself. All right, so it's starting to bubble up. So there you can see in the pot, we've got the beef looking good. And the beef is almost covered. So like, as I said, this is going to now, um, I'm gonna let it boil up so I know it's all properly heated through. And then we're gonna turn it down and that is gonna simmer. There you go. That is gonna simmer for two to three hours. Okay. For two to three hours that will simmer. I will keep come back in to check it to make sure that there is still liquid in the pan. And when I need to top up, I'll top up with um, the chicken stock. Okay? So, we'll come back and show you when that's ready. Okay, so we're back. Oh. And I've been checking on the beef. I put uh, the two chicken stocks I bought. Those have been put inside. And I added some pimento seed. I didn't put pimento seed. I've put some um, ready chopped garlic in there. 
see how that looks looks really nice I've tested the beef I've um, cut some of it each one checked it it's ready so I'm gonna switch off the pot now so I can show you where it's the beef is cooked now see that it's breaking up see that as you can see, yeah, it's breaking up nicely, and that's how we want it, like that. So we're not going to cook that anymore. That's done. So we we'll switch that, and it tastes, it tastes wicked. All right, so that is cooked, man, and it's so rich, guys. Mmm, tastes nice, that tastes real nice. All right, so now we're gonna get making the, t the tortillas, and um, not tortillas, the tacos, but they're made from tortillas. Yeah, and I also decided I'm not gonna make any chili oil because the sauce in the pot is um, quite hot enough. Got enough pepper in there, I think. Um, so I'm not going to make chilli oil, I'll just use the plain oil to fry the tortillas. Um, so now we're going to get making our tacos. So these are the ingredients for the taco. We have some shredded white cabbage here, some red chopped up onions and sweet pepper. Yeah, and then we have some um, mature um, cheddar cheese here. We have our tortillas. What, um, we were frying to tacos and here I have some of the sauce in a bowl to dip my taco in and the pan heating on the fire. There's some shredded beef already shredded up ready for the tacos. Yeah. I'm back. So I just want to show you I actually made one taco as a tester. So you can see it there. Yum, yum, yum. Looks delicious yeah so I just yeah because I was a bit confused a while ago so now we'll go again oh pardon me for being so rude so what we do we take the tortilla so actually I've got the camera in one hand and um, my juice is thick I know it is a bit thick because I didn't strain um, when I done the blender I didn't strain it I didn't want to so I didn't forget just didn't want to strain it so we dip the taco in the juice then over to the pan okay slightly okay right then the first thing you put is a little bit of cheese. Okay, I'm using um, a mature cheddar cheese from New Zealand because I love cheese. So I love the strong flavour. Then here, you know, we have our shredded beef. So the next thing we'll put a little bit of that. Okay, so. Don't mind my hands, they're clean, washed, every two minutes or more. Yeah, we'll put some beef there in the taco. So we're making them at home, we're not in the restaurant, so we don't have to be stingy. We can put enough beef, yeah. Then just sprinkle a little bit of, this is, um, grated cabbage yeah a grated cabbage and some chopped red onion and a little bit of our bell pepper okay you can Fold over your tortilla. 
while I'm doing that let's get another one on the go uh, again dip in the sauce dip in the sauce dip in the sauce like that okay into the pan See if I can flip this with one hand. Oh, look at that, man! Nice, nice. All right. Sorry when it goes off a bit. One hand, one hand. <laughs> Need someone to hold the video. Right. So we've got the other tortilla in. Right, so the other tortillas in the pan there, you can see that. And got enough beat here to make one more shredded up. There we go. There we go with the cheese. All right. And then um, a little bit of shreddy cabbage, yeah, and the onion, some bell pepper, all right. How you do it? Right. So we've still got some tacos on the go here, and over here we have our finished. Yeah, <laughs> I'm quite proud of that. Thought they came out pretty well, and then this is our the juice to dip our tacos in um, some of the recipes I've seen the juice is a little bit thinner more watery and you can add some shredded cabbage in it and you can drink it as a soup actually right so if you want to make it a bit thinner but the consistency of this is thick because I didn't strain after I blended but I didn't want to I wanted it thick so these are my tacos okay and i'm telling you something my beef tastes so nice it's so soft and succulent tastes very nice got a couple more tacos here on the go yep okay coach you load from in on the land ready grab us think like how you get up on the scheme hot today we are the weather man a boy should have drop body baby From in the land, ready grab us think like how you get up on the scheme. Hot today we are the weather man. A boy shoulda dropped body baby.